It's all well and good for me to show you how to set up a product and it's all well and good for me to give you a review of a product, but when I give you real world scenarios for how to use a product like this SwitchBot, I feel like it's a lot more useful to you guys. So here are five ways that you can use SwitchBot in your home. Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. SwitchBot has been one of the most versatile products or smart home products that I've had and its ability to push a button puts it in a whole different space and a whole different ease of implementation or installation. And so as I go through these ideas, I think you're going to see that. Now the first one is a pretty simple solution or a pretty simple implementation, but if you have a button anywhere in your home to press and this is, I mean, this is as simple as it is. You can trigger that little bit of automation to press any button in your home in a number of different ways with the connection to if this then that your Bluetooth connection to your phone, you have the ability to hit uh, either a hard to reach switch or a switch you don't wanna get up to all the time. You know, something like a coffee maker becomes very easily accessible to turn on with a physical button. Now what's interesting about this little button is it doesn't have to be set up with the hub. And so it's a $30 US button that you could take in your car or your RV and you, have a Bluetooth connection capability so you can simply set a button up or just open up the application and hit the button and you can press anything in your car or RV. You know, I think about with RVs, you're always having to get up, turn on your AC unit or, or a fan or something like that. You wouldn't have to do that if this was just stuck to that button in your RV. This is one of the ways I've been using it. And what I'll tell you about this is as the battery dies, you're going to find maybe your battery your garage door button is a little too hard to press or depending on the type of garage door button you have might be too hard to press but in general this has been very effective at pressing my garage door and so you can utilize this as a garage door opener for $30 for kids who have a smartphone they you don't necessarily need anything more complicated and you don't need to go spend hundreds of dollars on another smart home garage door opener this is thirty dollars stick it on a button have the kid come up connect through bluetooth or just open the app and it'll connect through Bluetooth automatically, hit that button and they can get in your garage. Lots of people ask me, how do I automate my PC? How do I get that? How, how do I do it? Well, I've actually been utilizing this one effectively on my PC for a little while. No software needed. One of the nice little functions of this is if you want to power on or power off a device and you need to hold the button for a few seconds, this button press can be configured to hold for any number of seconds. So it can just sit there and hold that. And that makes this extremely powerful, no software needed. You just, if you have the hub in your home, you are always cloud connected. So you can do this remotely. You can go ahead and have this turn on and off your PC as needed. For cameras actually, the hub becomes a very important device. It is IR based and it can connect to cameras and trigger recordings on and off. So you're gonna see me finally do a final installation on the SwitchBot hub here and it's going to be in my office because I'm going to use it from a recording perspective for cameras or triggering a photo perspective for cameras. This will give me the full remote capabilities that I need as an automator. With that being just five uses, there's a lot more you can do with this. I've included it in my gym routine. It turns on a fan for me. The IR hub actually turns on a lot of the entertainment devices in there, so it can act a lot like a Harmony hub. So there are a ton of different functions and if you want to see our full series on the SwitchBot, well, it's on screen right now. You can go watch that playlist here. There's only three, sorry, three other uh, videos there for you to watch. So otherwise, guys, until next time, don't hate, automate.